We took our Model Y over 500 miles from Las Vegas to San Luis Obispo for the Tesla Takeover event. We also took both the boys with us for our first road trip all together as a family. So come along and hope you enjoy. Our first stop will be Prim, Nevada. It looks like the 15 was closed, but now it's open. So that'll be an adventure to see what the traffic looks like. It wanted us to go around here earlier. So hopefully by the time we stop here, this will be opened up. We're leaving with 30% and that's because we drive our car for work and we work today. It is Friday at 4.30, so we're leaving after work. So we'll get a quick charge here. We got the whole family with us in the back. Brody's already way too excited. It's our first road trip with both the dogs, so let's go ahead and hit the road. Hi, Brody. Hey, Dad. Hi. Got here at 12%, we'll plug in really quick. This handle's sitting in the 110 degree sun and the heat, so I don't know how fast of a charge rate we'll get, but we will find out. Only about 20 minutes into our trip, there's no shade and it's so hot, so I'm gonna hang out here with these guys. We just left, so they should be fine. Uh, gonna eat some healthy snacks that we brought in our trunk, but I'm not sure where Jojo went. All right, guys, I'm going to McDonald's here at the Prim to pick up some food. Hmm? And as far as charge rate, we hit 250 and then tapered off quite a bit. We're at 164 kilowatts right now. It's just so hot out, but that's all right. We're in no rush. As usual, McDonald's come in clutch. <laughs> Good thing we got all those yogurt and blueberries in the back for healthy snacks, huh? Nah, this is much better. This, is feel, this feels comforting. Free Fry Friday, I guess. Think it? Think it and think it. This Prim Supercharger has a few 150 kilowatt stalls over here, but most of them here are 250 and there's quite a bit. I like this one because it's a lot of stalls and I've never seen it even close to full. I think there's, don't quote me, but like 48 250s and 12 150s, but I'm not sure. But anyway, we just ate. I'm gonna go into the casino and use the restroom. Whoops. And I believe this casino is 24 hours, so you also have 24-hour restrooms at the supercharger. However, I would not recommend the sports book. Not the design. Almost done charging. I'm looking at the dune buggy leaderboard for Prim. We got a lot of people here. I'm gonna try to get the high score 218. So let's do a round of this, see what we can get, and then we'll hit the road. Guys, this better be good. Where is the radar? What a freaking off oh, frick. Okay, plus your mouth. <laughs> they messed me up. 39 seconds, oh geez. Oh, geez. oh what, the last place. Oh, come on, babe. About to finish the three, jeez Louise, about to finish the three minutes. Jeez Louise, well. We didn't make the leader, but we weren't even close. I don't know how you guys are going that fast. 249, but, um, new best score, what the heck? That was embarrassing. Anyway, we have enough to get to, we want to go to Barstow. It recommended us to go to Yermo. There's no shade around here, but I know there's shade at this one, so we'll stop here for the dogs, let them out. But I want to avoid Yermo. I had bad experiences there with slow charging speeds. And Baker is just always crowded. We got some traffic over there too, so we'll see what that's like. But let's go ahead and get to Barstow. And you ready? All right, we got 78%. We will get there in about two hours with 18% arrival. Two hours? Ready to hit the road? I am ready. You boys ready? Take naps, boys. Let's go. So we're sitting here in traffic. A little bit of traffic is more up ahead, but look at this side of the road. I mentioned it was closed earlier. 
there was nobody coming north on I-15, so that's still closed, but luckily this way is open, just going slow, and um, we'll continue on the bar still with some traffic, but luckily we're going this way and not the other way. Oh, so they both closed the lane? They were both closed like an hour ago or an hour and a half ago, oh. and this one just opened recently, and that one is still closed. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Just sitting in traffic with the family. And the boys are knocked out. Oh, Brody's awake. Hey, Brody boy. Raider's butt just getting the AC, but he's on alert as well. Update, we're still in traffic. Our five hour trip is turning into a seven, maybe eight hour trip. And the boys are still sleeping. So we're just hanging Annoyed. along for the ride. Annoyed. We're going three miles an hour though. So we're moving a little bit. Coming to you live from the reason why we have this hour, hour and a half delay is because this truck earlier I saw on the news, it was carrying lithium batteries, which you can see are still on fire. I hope it's safe to drive by right now. The truck has been there for a while. You see all the police officers who are a lot further back, probably for their safety, but I am actually pretty close to it. So let's hope that it doesn't blow up in the next five or 10 seconds. Don't but even <laughs> But either way, that is what's happening right now. It doesn't look safe, but um, I think we're safe because we're going by it now. But geez Louise, look at all these fire trucks. Please help there's a crane back there or an excavator. Whoa, this is a situation we got going on here, folks. But finally, we are out of traffic. So we're excited about that and we are safe driving by that scene. So we'll continue our road trip right now. Well, folks, the traffic is not over yet. <laughs> well, it's almost over. You can see ahead of us, we're moving, but I feel bad for these guys who are just stuck because the road is closed and they're just walking around outside their trucks and their cars. But we are almost out of traffic. Busy supercharger, probably from everyone waiting in traffic with us, but we got here with 19%. She's plugging in right now and we'll let the boys run around a little bit. We came here so they can walk around in the shade if needed, but if you look closely, it took us so long to get here, the sun is gone. So we're just hanging out in the meantime. I have never seen this that supercharger this back. It's like a lot of cars. Yeah. They're all waiting in traffic with us probably. 70 stalls it says, some of those are just like black and not working, so it's interesting how that is, but 70 stalls, a couple of slower charges here on the side, and Crazy. we're just waiting for them to use the bathroom. If anybody has any tips how to get dogs to use the bathroom on the leash when they usually go in the backyard, let us know because we have issues with this on road trips. We've been out for 20 minutes now about, and they're just too curious, too excited to Use the bathroom, I guess. I don't know, somebody help us out. Well, we didn't intend for this to turn into a night road trip, but here we are. They're panting from all the walking around and not going to the bathroom. We have 75%. We can get to our hotel for the night in Bakersfield with 21%. We'll hang out for a little bit. The hotel does have a destination charger. I don't know if it'll show on here, but I saw beforehand, but just in case that's full, I wanna have enough to be able to stop here stay overnight here and stop here in the morning if we need to so we'll hang out here for a little bit and then head to the hotel in hopes to plug in for the night and if not this will be our first stop at this supercharger here in the morning all right we're gonna unplug here and it's the road get going to bakersfield so leaving with 86 percent we'll get there with 32 which is plenty and if we can plug in overnight at the destination charger great if not we have a supercharger just a few miles down the road so we'll be just fine with that and let's hit the road you ready let's go just kidding we stopped here first at panda express so she can use the bathroom grab a snack and that guy has a dog that these boys are keeping their eyes on there's a raider growling over there so she'll get some food and then we'll be off to bakersfield 
What'd you get me? I got you Panda Express and I got you apple pie roll, so I hope it's good. Nice. Looks like a lumpia. Hey! We're getting tangled up here. I gave the boys chance number two to go potty, and it is what you would call a no go. That's so, all right. well, we tried. let's get back on the road. Look at that. With the in and out background, that should be a thumbnail. We arrived here at the hotel and let's figure out how we're going to unpack our one little suitcase and the dogs. We got some dog pee spray. Let's see if this works. You're getting me wet. It's supposed to give dogs a smell to help them go potty. If it works, we'll leave a link, but I am very suspicious about it. Also, we got here with 30% and I thought there was an overnight charger here, but there is not. So spoiler alert, our first stop tomorrow will be the supercharger right here in Bakersfield, California. Hi, Brody boy. You can't be barking. It's midnight. You can't be barking by people walking by, Brody. Say, I'm an anxious boy. I don't like to eat on vacations. I just leave my whole bowl untouched, so I'll just starve all day. So the plan tomorrow, Bakersfield Supercharger, maybe Dutch Bros. There's a Dutch Bros across the street. That sounds pretty good. But Bakersfield Supercharger, probably one more stop to get some extra charge and then we will drop these guys off at their rover sitter for the day because they're a little too crazy for the event tomorrow that we're going to and then we'll go to the event so that's the plan for tomorrow we're going to check out for the night thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the morning see ya. guess who went potty at 4 45 in the morning both the boys let's go Good morning, sleep update, not too great. The dogs had to go to the bathroom and they did, which is great, but they went in the middle of the night and this morning, but we slept for, I don't know, for like six, seven hours. But anyway, we are on our way to Tesla, or X, X Takeover. Oh. When we left off, I believe I said we're gonna stop at the Bakersfield Supercharger. However, with 25% after cooling the car down in overnight center mode, we still have enough to get to Lost Hills, California with what it says, 6%. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. I'm okay, okay with that. Yeah, 40 more, 44 minutes, not bad at all. We got 20, 25, we'll get there with six, 44 minutes. Let's go ahead and hit the road. Hit the road. We arrived across from a Denny's with 7%. We'll plug in now, let them out, walk around a little bit, the usual. Sounds good. We, as a family, are walking down there to the Love's Travel Hello. Stop to get some sunscreen. Last year at this event, I got sunburnt so bad, so we're going to learn our lesson and get some sunscreen this time. They, don't, they have it at the Love Stop, but it's like $16 for a can of spray tan, I mean sunscreen, so we're not going to buy there. We're oh, really? gonna go somewhere. Jojo went into 76 for attempt number two for sunscreen while me and the boys wait here in the shade because it's not Vegas hot, but it is pretty hot outside. No sunscreen, but we got water and uh, something to make a car smell good. Okay. This supercharger station, there's 20 stalls, all 250 kilowatts across from a Denny's, a couple amenities as you saw back there. And we are right around the corner. Anyway, I have this sunscreen for a while now, but it's usually for face. Just it's just for face, but I'm gonna let Carm use it. So we had it the whole time. You went in two stores looking for sunscreen, and we had it the whole time. Well, I wasn't sure if you are down to use this one. That's why I didn't offer until like now. <laughs> okay, down to use it. All right, then we then we're okay. Cybertruck. 82% is plenty enough to get to the Madonna Inn, of course, with a quick stop to drop off the boys for the day. The puppies. Ready to hit the road? Ready to hit the road. Let's unplug and hit the road. You want to unplug it? I got it. Our first road trip with the whole family was a memorable one. Yes, the dogs did slow us down quite a bit, but maybe that's the point. We were able to take our time and enjoy some moments that we normally wouldn't have. 
Anyways, let's get to Tesla Takeover. One last stop, we're here. We're at the Madonna Inn. We're gonna plug in 45% and use a bathroom and unpack a little bit. Just drop the boys off, so we're a little sad they're gone, but we can enjoy the day peacefully. <laughs> and um, yeah, we are here. We'll plug in, use the bathroom, use the restroom, hang out, and show you guys around the event a little bit. Last year, we had like 200 subscribers when we were here. Now we have like a little over 3,000. So um, we gotta walk like this, you know, so no one recognizes us. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But we're about to head to the X Takeover, so if you want to watch us walk around and show you guys that, click the video recommended somewhere over here. But as always, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.